Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again. So Rockstar has released a new Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay video. I'm so hyped for this game. I cannot wait for it to come out. So let's take a look at the video. <laughs> They'll probably hang you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You coming, buddy? In the late 1800s, America was evolving, on its way to becoming the most powerful country in the world. New immigrants arrived, thriving outposts became towns, Looks and civilization amazing. was spreading rapidly into the huge, wild, and lawless frontier. With Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar Games aims to create a living Looks world that's not simply open, but deeper. Come on, pretty boy. More interactive and detailed than ever. Pretty boy? Combining action. Oh, the fights are awesome. Storytelling. We need to get those people warm and fed. And gameplay in new ways. As you live, ride, and fight to survive as an outlaw in a notorious Not gang. Bad. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. The game is an attempt to capture this pivotal moment when the age of outlaws was ending and the modern world was born. There is a huge world to explore, set across a range of America's heartland and frontier. I don't know From harsh sure mountain enough. trails and dense forests, to untamed swamplands and sweeping deserts, rugged livestock towns, to modernizing cities, and much more. All populated with a diverse cast of characters from turn-of-the-century life. Now shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. You play as Arthur Morgan, a trusted senior gun in the Vanderling Gang, a band of outlaws and outcasts on the run from the pressures of civilized life. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. Each time they are forced to flee an area, the gang sets up a camp as a base. This is where gang members eat, sleep, perform chores, play games, and share stories. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. These are the people Arthur calls family, and you will get to know each gang member over the course of the game. So, you save the silly bastard's life and you and him go robbing sheep. Helping the camp with food and supplies will keep morale high, while spending time with other gang members can reveal new secrets, fun things to do, and opportunities for mischief. How about you and me go and redistribute like gun said. property? In and out of camp, the world is alive and responds to the player. Well, ain't this a rare treat? And your guns aren't the only way to interact with the environment. Call out to a passing rider. That's a nice horse. Talk yourself into trouble with a local tough guy. Clear out. Or out of trouble with a town sheriff. Or intimidate a witness into silence. And more. Keep your mouth shut. That's a really cool You're mechanic. Yeah, you don't want to really cool. involve yourself with this. Confrontations can be escalated or diffused. Take it easy. Oh, that's going to be Do a lot you of fun. Want, I don't care. You can form friendships. God. You did it. Or make enemies as you choose. You killed my cousin, you sick son of a bitch! Your actions have consequences, and it's up to you to decide just how honorable Arthur is. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> Shooting and fighting have both been radically improved to make combat deep and engaging at all times. Each weapon has like unique characteristics, mechanics. with realistic reload and recoil that always keeps the player grounded and connected to the action in a gunfight. In a similar way, the bond with your horse is crucial and changes based on your treatment of the animal. Hold still, girl. Some breeds are better suited for certain tasks. Jesus. Got a fella a looking for a decent work horse like this for a while. Your saddle and saddlebags can store extra weapons, along with supplies and animal carcasses that you pick up while out roaming or hunting. Over time, the bond between you and your horse will grow, making them easier to control in tense situations. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him.
A rich and varied ecosystem thrives in the world, full of predators, prey, and scavengers. All smart and sometimes deadly. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Hunting helps the camp or earns you money. Wound an animal and you'll have to track them down. Animal pelts and other items you find can be traded for cash to use at general stores, gunsmiths, saloons, and elsewhere. This is God's own country, and I feel Not bad. I'm in purgatory. This is a world that is rich in depth and detail. All designed to be explored on horseback or on foot. As you live the fateful journey of a gang of outlaws on the run across America. In the next gameplay video, we'll look at missions, activities, enemy gangs, robberies, other things to do, and much more, including the evolution of sharpshooting using the Deadeye system. That is so cool. October 26th. Still so far away, but that was awesome. Uh, quite a few things that were really cool. Uh, first, obviously, the world looks absolutely amazing. I'm not surprised. You know, it's Rockstar. They always do amazing games. Um, I do like the fight combat uh, mechanics. You know, I do like the, um, you know, bare knuckle, brawling, whatever you want to call it. You know, this type of stuff right here. So these fight mechanics look really cool. Looks like you get to kind of throw each other around which is pretty nice you know better than GTA 5's kind of clunky punching mechanics so that's pretty cool that um, you know they've changed that and upgraded that uh, let's see what else besides the world the environment um, of course the towns and stuff like that look really good you know that's pretty cool that everything's gonna be alive and living if you will i do like the caravans the wagons i do like the outpost the uh, idea and stuff like that you know setting up camp and you know doing different missions to help out the people and stuff like that you know going getting food and playing games and stuff like that you know card games and things like that which is pretty cool uh, of course get the pelts going drinking that'll be cool I do like that guy's gun, though. That's pretty badass. I don't know what that little logo is, but the black and red, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, of course, there's going to be prostitution. Uh, these mechanics are pretty cool, just, you know, saying, hey, what's up to the random NPC just walking by. That's pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, being able to interrogate people um, and then of course escalating or de-escalating certain situations that's nice like see I think that's pretty cool you can what does it say you can aim weapon you can rob him you can defuse the situation or you can antagonize them so that's pretty cool that you have different choices and things like that how you want things to play out and like they said um, you know certain things will have consequences like I guess you know if you save this person something different will happen if you kill him something else will happen so that's really cool what else do we got yep saving people like this right here you can you know make a choice you can press square to help him press circle to kill him yep more of the fights Nice sniper rifle. Of course, the loading, the recoil. Let's see, okay. And, of course, <laughs> the horses. Um, that horse is incredibly jacked. But, yeah, I like how you have kind of like a... I don't want to say relationship with your horse, but, you know, of course, the better you treat it, the better it's going to okay seriously did they put horse balls on the damn thing <laughs> like seriously <laughs> oh rock star um but yeah i like how you know the better you treat your horse the better it will treat you you know if you 
treat it well, if you feed it, if you brush it, you know, you take care of it, you know, he'll handle better in, you know, gunfights and stuff like that. He won't get spooked, um, you know, by loud noises or probably animals and stuff like that. But if you treat your horse like crap, then he's going to be, you know, wild and stuff like that. You know, he might jump around at, at certain noises or animals and shootouts and things like that. So that's another really cool mechanic. I know I'm saying really cool a lot or cool, but hey, whatever. All the different horses, the saddles and stuff like that, carrying different weapons or can carry multiple weapons, pelts and stuff like that. And of course, you know, you still got your wanted level, um, you know, having guys come after you and stuff like that. Yeah, but you can see like the bucking around. I think that is, um, you know, this right here. I believe this is, I'm guessing, um, you know, if you don't take care of your horse and treat it right, treat it, treat it right, this is how he'll act. He'll jump around, bounce around, things like that. Alligators. Uh, let's see, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. You got some hunting, um, you know, your general stores and stuff like that. No different than you know GTA Five type of stuff going in. Well, granted, you know, there's really nothing to sell in GTA like this, but you know, you still got stores and stuff like that where you can get different clothes and stuff. Uh, wanted being investigated so just like GTA 5 you know if you lose them they'll search around and stuff like that so all right looks like the next video whenever that will come out is going to focus on train robberies which I think they've mentioned before there's gonna be train robberies um, I think or train heists whatever they want to call them robberies heists I don't know uh, and then I believe there's also gonna be like um, um, not buggies, but horse and carriage stealing. Again, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Fishing. That would be fun to do. Uh, of course, they'll talk about missions and stuff like that. I do like this mechanic, though. This is pretty cool. Being able to tag. Looks like up to three different targets. I'm sure you can probably upgrade that. Maybe. I don't know if you can go all the way to six or not. But either way, that will still be pretty cool. And then, of course, you get slow motion. Red Dead Redemption 2, October 26. Pre-order now. PS4 and Xbox One. But yeah, looks awesome. I cannot wait for this game. It's just going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, so there we go. There's my little reaction video. Kind of a little breakdown to it so hope you guys enjoyed the video uh if you did hit that thumbs up button that'd be awesome remember feel free to subscribe to my channel follow me on social media links are in the description box below and um you know feel free to subscribe to my channel and leave me your thoughts and comments what do you guys think are you looking forward to the game um what part are you looking forward to the most you know i can't wait to hear what you guys think so anyways uh just stick around more videos are on the way uh, I'm not sure when the next video they're going to release. You know, I'm talking about the different missions and raids and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sure that will probably be not for a while. My guess, probably next month, you know, just to kind of keep the hype train going. You know, since we did get this video, you know, in August, I figure the next one will come out in September. And then the game will be out in October. That's my guess. But I could be wrong. You know, it is Rockstar. They'll release whatever they want when they want uh but yeah you know just stick around more videos are on the way and i'll see you guys next time